G'day, I'm True and welcome to another African Violet video. You may be wondering why I'm holding a light bulb and it's because this particular type of light bulb may have the ability to defeat one of the most common African Violet diseases, powdery mildew. So please stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what type of light bulb it is and how it is being used to defeat powdery mildew. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload new videos. So what is powdery mildew? So I've got a couple of examples here of two plants that are having an outbreak of powdery mildew and you can see it on the flowers here. So powdery mildew, it's a fungal disease that commonly affects African violets it looks like a fine powder or dust which can develop on the leaves or the blooms of your African violets and it can greatly impact the overall health and appearance of your plant, stunting its growth, reducing flowering and if left, leaves can dry, turn yellow or brown and the worst case scenario, the plant can die. So powdery mildew occurs when the weather conditions are right, the temperature fluctuations of warm days and then cool humid nights combined with poor air circulation around your plant and low light makes the perfect growing conditions for this fungal disease. So where I live in Brisbane, Australia, we're heading towards the end of winter, going into spring. And in the day, our temperatures are around 27 degrees Celsius. And at night, our temperatures have been getting down to around eight degrees Celsius. This huge temperature fluctuation in my climate has resulted in some of my plants developing powdery mildew. So not all of them have developed it. So some African violet varieties are hardier than others and they will genetically have the ability to fight off powdery mildew better than other varieties will. And you may even find that outbreaks of powdery mildew will occur with the African violets at certain times of the year, possibly every year. So it is a very painful African violet fungal disease and one which can drive you absolutely crazy. So it's important to try and take some precautions to protect your African violets from powdery mildew. And at those times of the year when they're more susceptible of developing it. So step one, these are things you can do to try and help prevent an outbreak of powdery mildew. So step one, you can increase the air circulation around the plant. So leave a decent gap between each plant to ensure a good amount of air is circulating around the plant. Step two, water early in the day. Step three, when you water, try not to wet the leaves of the plant. Step four, in plants that are large and overgrown, you can cull some of the leaves out to try and ensure that the plant can get more air circulating around the leaves and the crown. Step five, you can remove any spent blooms as soon as they've died. Step six, Always use room temperature water for watering, never cold water. Step seven, always have a good amount of light in your African violet room. Step eight, check your plants over each week to catch any powdery mildew outbreaks early because before it has a chance to spread. Step nine, always sterilize any garden tools and hands after handling plants that have powdery mildew as the spores of the fungus can stick and spread to other plants. And if you've tried all of these steps and your African violets still develop powdery mildew, what do you do? So, okay, the first step is to isolate the plant that's affected. Powdery mildew spreads very easily. A slight breeze or tap of a plant with powdery mildew will send the fine powdery mildew dust fungal spores floating onto the neighbouring plants. So quarantining the plant immediately is a must and isolating the plant into a separate room is advisable. So remove any dead leaves and remove any flowers as the plant is under stress and you want it to put its energy into fighting the fungal disease, not into producing flowers which will probably get powdery mildew all over them and look terrible. So you need to reduce humidity ASAP. So you can do this by providing adequate space around each plant and never overcrowding your African violets. You can use a fan to increase the circulation around your African violets or use air conditioning to remove temperature fluctuations. 
So if you have your plants sitting on a base of pebbles, you can remove the pebbles, which will also help lower the humidity. So there are a number of natural treatments which have mixed reviews as to whether they work or not. These include milk serum, iodine, mustard, garlic and soda ash. So there's also um, different fungicides you can use, but I have an example of this one here. This is Yates. So this is the Yates. Move that over. The Yates brand. And it's uh, you can use copper sulfate. So there are numerous other fungicides you can use. But these fungicides are quite potent chemicals. And if you have children or pets around the house, you may not want to use them. And natural remedies may not always work effectively. So now we come back to the light pole. Since my outbreak of powdery mildew, I've been researching methods of treatment and I came across a group of scientists using African violet light on grapevines to kill powdery mildew outbreaks. They discovered that if you shine ultraviolet light onto the grapevines at night, the powdery mildew's natural defense mechanism that protects it from DNA damage caused by the UV light cannot work and the defense mechanism only activates when stimulated by the blue light component of the visible spectrum of sunlight. So this blue light component is absent at night. So the powdery mildew's natural defense mechanism is not activated. So in effect, the application of a UV light at night can zap the powdery mildew's DNA and kill it. The team of scientists found the method to be most effective when four hours of darkness follows the application of UV light and their results showed a suppression of powdery mildew with one treatment per week. So this blew my mind, this research. A potentially effective treatment of powdery mildew that is non-toxic, economic, safe for the plants and the environment. So how does it work? To use this method of treatment, you need to shine an ultraviolet light on your African violets with powdery mildew at night I would think once the sun has been down for at least four hours, so you shine the light over all areas affected, make sure there is still another four hours of darkness after the treatment and repeat once a week whilst there is an outbreak. So I've begun experimenting with this method on my African violets with powdery mildew and came across a problem almost immediately. And that was how to expose the underside of the plants to the UV light. And I came up with what I'm hoping is a solution it seems to be working. Um, I place the UV light on a mirror and sit the plants next to it and rotate them a quarter every five minutes to ensure even exposure. So it's important to remember that too much of anything is bad for you and this includes your plants. So use too much UV light on your plants and it will kill them. So use too little and it will have no effect. So using UV light to treat certain plant diseases is new research and there is very little information available and when it comes to using UV light to treat powdery mildew, specifically on African violets, there is no information available. So I would say use this method with caution. Experiment on one plant affected by powdery mildew, starting with perhaps 15 minutes of UV light at night and see what the effect is. See if the powdery mildew improves. If not, perhaps a few days later, do 20 minutes of UV light at night and monitor the results and so on. So using UV light to treat plant diseases is a new research, but it is showing a lot of promise in treating powdery mildew and other plants. So the next video I will upload was taken at night, so very sorry for the poor quality, but it is of the first treatment with UV light that I gave to plants that have powdery mildew to show you on the setup I'm using. And over the coming week, I will do 20 minute sessions with UV light every second night on these plants and fingers crossed it will kill the powdery mildew. If it looks like it is improving, I will do this for longer until it is gone. So now this is an experiment. I'm hoping it will work. And if it does, it could make treating those outbreaks of powdery mildew a whole lot easier to manage. So fingers crossed. Uh, if you have a go at using ultraviolet light to treat your African violet powdery mildew, I would love to hear the results of your experiment. So powdery mildew... It's one of those diseases that will affect most African violet growers at some stage. 
and hopefully this method will prove successful. So look out for a follow-up video in the future to see the results of my experiment and thank you for watching.